What's going on SKF here and welcome to the 82 rated inform Lucas Digne. So a plus 4 upgrade from his non-rare 78 card to this 82 inform. Nice boost and also a very well rounded card. I don't think he is one of the elite left backs in the prem. Of course you do have the inform Robertson who I think is a better card. As well as the road to the final Marcus Alonso who I think is a better left back. So yeah this card... Definitely, though, I think is usable. He, he, of course, is French, so it is something unique, and you can definitely make hybrids with him. Of course, you also have Mendy, who's a French left back, but yeah, this card definitely could be usable in your budget teams. He is 15k on Xbox and around 13k on PlayStation, so pretty good price for an inform left back. I would say, I guess, for a position that's lacking. He does have very well-rounded stats, uh, 80 pace. 80 passing, 79 dribbling, 79 defending, and 76 physicality. So I would probably put an anchor chemistry style over the shadow chemistry style on this card to boost the physical as well. You know, the defending, physical, and pace, definitely the three important defensive stats, which, you know, there's nothing really spectacular on this card. So I do think you do need to boost both stats a bit. So this card has 78 sprint speed and 81 acceleration. So the speed's not bad, but like I said, it's very necessary to boost the pace to make him a bit faster because he doesn't have the size and strength like a Marcus Alonso. So I do think if he gets a little bit of a pace upgrade uh, on his card, I do think he will be much, much more usable. So going forward, he's very good. He has that high attacking work rate. So he does like to push up a lot. And when going forward, he's very good. He has 84 crossing. So he's very good at crossing. And uh, off corners, he's very good at whipping a ball in with his left foot. So, you know, attacking wise, I think he's very good defensively. No, I don't think he was the best, especially in terms of his positioning. He does like to go forward, like I said, so he will be caught out of position. And his 72 marking is definitely noticeable, so he's not very good at tracking his man and reading the play in general. So that is an issue. His tackling is actually pretty good. 86 slide tackle, excellent. 82 stand tackle, which is good. So the tackling, interceptions as well at 82, which I think is pretty good. Uh, the physical stats, you know, are pretty average. 81 stamina. I don't think is great, you know, especially on a fullback who's going to be running up and down the line with the high attack work rate. So I do think that can be an issue. The 77 jumping as well, you know, quite average. He will get out jumped by a lot of attackers. So being 5'10", you know, that could be an issue. 72 strength. He's not too weak. And I don't think the strength is a problem. So uh, yeah, that will be my DNA reviews. That's going to be a 7 out of 10. And yeah, that's, that's going to be it. So please like, subscribe, and of course, thank you for watching.